So, yeah, just over the last few days, uh, I'm trying to think the last time we talked to you was only about six or seven days ago, and uh, there have been more come into the fold since then. Yeah, matter of fact, just one less than an hour ago, 2023 oh, okay. linebacker Jamal Anderson announced his commitment publicly. Um, he's the sixth guy to commit since last Monday. Four of those players – were of the 31 that were on hand for official visits the weekend before last. So, so Dabo Sweeney kind of making an adjustment here and, and hosting a, a big official visit weekend here in the summer, something he's not done in the past, is paying off in a big way. Um, we're starting to see some very good results come in from that weekend. And, and I don't think it's over by a long shot. Um, I think we're going to see – tight end Marcus Dixon. He announces a commitment tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. I've got him projected to Clemson. And then on Wednesday, here's the big one, one of the cornerstones of the class. Big defensive tackle Vic Burley's going to announce a commitment Wednesday afternoon, 2 p.m. from his high school there in Warner Robins. I've got him projected to, the, to Clemson. I, I've maintained for a while. I thought Clemson was in a good shape with him. He could, he, he had a, um official visit scheduled for Georgia this weekend, did not take it. So the tea leaves are really starting to line up in Clemson's favor here. I, I really think when he announces Wednesday, it's going to be good news for Clemson. I, I also put in a projection this morning for linebacker D. Creighton. No, no announcement date on the horizon yet, but I think it's coming in the very near future. He had an official schedule this weekend. I think it was the Auburn that he canceled. Instead, went back to Clemson this weekend, back-to-back -back weekends in Clemson. I, I think he wanted to let the coaching staff know of his decision in person, probably just waiting on a video to be produced. So I, I, that's a commitment I'm expecting in the near future, and I've got him projected to Clemson as well. Hey, Jason, just to get back to uh, Jamal Anderson, obviously his name stands out. So I remember talking to you about him a number of times. Anybody out there that's not an NFL fan or Atlanta Falcons fan in particular, Jamal Anderson was a workhorse for the, uh, the Dirty Birds back in uh, 98. And in that era that went to the Super Bowl, Jamal Anderson, the son here out of Georgia, 64202. Am I looking at this right? He is the yeah. 11th rated linebacker in the country. Top 200, 173. Yeah, very, very high end talent. Um, Very versatile. I think he projects to play it on, on the outside, probably in that Sam spot where um we've seen Trenton Simpson the last couple of seasons, where we'll see Barrett Carter this season. I, I think Jamal Anderson has an extremely high upside, always, all, already showing strong coverage skills in high school. Hasn't even played his senior season yet. I think he's a fantastic addition to this class. Um, I think Wes Goodwin has called him Trenton Simpson-esque in the past. So, Or maybe not Wes Goodwin. But I've seen that said. I can't remember who said it, that he was Trenton Simpson-esque. I, I don't know if he's going to – I mean, that's a high – that's high praise right there. That, that's hard to live up to. But I think he's got an extremely high ceiling. I, like I said, I think he's a strong addition to the class. And it takes a lot to play the Sam in, in this Clemson defense. They ask a lot out of that position. It's kind of it's not necessarily the quarterback of the defense. That's more falls on the, the guy in the middle. But Clemson asks a ton out of those guys that play in that Sam spot to play up inside, outside, play in coverage, play to run. So, I mean, I, he's just so versatile. 